Welcome back to The Price of Business. I'm your host, Kevin Price, talking to you about you and your business. Angelica Garcia is our guest. And she's with a company called AIM Global Logistics. And uh, also, they are members of the Houston West Chamber of Commerce, which we're huge fans of those four folks. You can learn more about them at hwcoc.org. But uh, Angel- uh, Angelica, welcome to the program. How are you today? Thank you. Doing very well. Thank you. Kind of tell us a little bit about your yourself and and what what do you do for uh, AIM? What do you what is your role over there? I am actually the president uh, and owner of AIM Global Logistics, and what we do is we do, we actually do supply chain solutions logistics uh, via all modes of transportation, so truck, ocean, air, and rail. And we also do warehousing. We're based in Katy, Texas, and we have offices in Mexico. Uh, but we do have global access with agents worldwide. So we move anything from a pound to over a million pounds and everything in between, specializing um, in heavy haul and overdimensional cargo and anything in and out of Mexico. So the business was uh, started with $500 back in 2009. I um, uh, started as a single mom, $500 and a dream and a prayer. And uh, now the company uh, this year, we're uh, projected to be at $25 million this year in revenues. Very good. Congratulations. That's a Thank fantastic you. story. you got to love that. So uh, what, what verticals are you typically operating in, in and serving? What, what type of industries? What type of industries are you typically serving? Oh, um, it would be uh, mostly oil and gas. Um, but, you know, we, we cater to all industries. You know, we have uh, different uh, distributors and manufacturers. Uh, you know, a lot of my customers are Siemens, uh, Siemens, Shell, um, Exxon, Pemex in Mexico, Semex in Mexico, and then everyone that basically supplies and works for the first-tier group. So uh, just anything and everything that people need to go from point A to point Z, we take care of. We do move a lot of rigs uh, uh, in the, you know, here in the oil gas sector right now. What percentage of your um, clients are in the energy space? I would say 80%. With wow. Eighty percent of my business is in the energy. And you know, with this with this uh you know, with the economy and everything going on now is it's uh, what I've learned to do now is diversify my business. So uh we are actually, you know, looking at other markets until everything get corrects itself in the in the economy. What are some of those markets you're looking at? Um we're actually uh, believe it or not, hauling chickens in <laughs> into Mexico. Um, you know, just food items, uh, chemicals. We actually opened up two divisions uh, aside in Global Logistics. We're also in Global Financial. We're a financial boutique that offers factoring to help businesses grow and inject cash flow into their business. We do equipment leasing and financing. Um, and then also AIM uh, Energy and Chemical, uh, the third division, we're a global sourcing company. And, uh, we, you know, we sell and source uh, chemicals and then oil field, oil, oil field equipment. Wow, that's interesting. So, so I was able to diversify uh the companies, uh, so that way not only are we selling rigs and tubulars and chemicals and uh, oil field equipment and the components of rigs, we're also uh, transfer- transporting them as well. And if they, anyone needs any financing, and Global Financial can be there to assist. Yeah, very, very good. And it's very important not to have all your eggs in one basket. Uh, diversification is important. Yeah, absolutely. Talk a little bit about uh, what you see uh, happening uh, out there in terms of the energy industry. Uh, what kind of feedback are you getting? Uh, I mean, right now, you know, recently, you know, you heard, uh, you know, shells laid off. And, you know, they're, they're right now domino effects laying off. Uh, but, you know, it will correct itself. And, you know, if you look at history, you know, it happened in the 80s. So, I mean, it's, just, it's cyclical. Uh, it will straighten itself out. You know, I've heard, you know, as late as 2017 and 18, but, Right now, everyone's saying, you know, just, you know, keep everything slim. You know, we'll look at all costs um, and, uh, and just, uh, and I've, I've heard in my industry, you know, just diversify yourself. Being in the transportation industry, I was 80% uh, oil and gas in the energy sector. So what I'm doing now is just trying to find other industries and sectors of the economy that uh, need transportation. So it's, uh, it's just important to, uh, and then also what's helping a lot to get through this time is networking. Uh, that's why the West Houston Chamber has been very beneficial, as long as, uh, as well as other chambers that I get involved with. So you get, for me, you get you get what you put into it. It's like a gym membership. So if you don't, hmm. you, know, you have your membership. If you don't go to the gym, you won't see results. So you have to get out there, 
you know, it's not always what you know, but it's who you know, and, and timing is everything. I love that analogy of the gym membership, and that's exactly right. And I, I love your website, by the way, aimgloballogistics.com. You know, and I'm sitting here thinking that there's got to be very, very few industries that have more requirements and more demands as far as transportation than energy. So it seems to me that if you can move energy, you can move anything and do it uh, very professionally and in a very high-quality way, just, just looking, at what you're, you're, you know, looking at your background. Yes, and I, I, you know, it, I'm on, I am in a male-dominated industry, and I just, uh, you know, it, I think that what, what, our, what the sets ourselves uh, apart is that you, I am able to supply and service the energy sector just as good as any other man in the industry. And what helps, uh, uh, helps me a lot and the company is that I am a certified minority woman-owned business. So that helps, you know, um, you know in getting into some of the contracts, but, you know, just because I'm a you know, certified minority woman owned, I mean, that doesn't mean that I don't, I have to meet the expectations of the Shell and the Exxon and those companies because there's, you know, safety to adhere to, you know, ISO certifications. So there's many, many ISO dot and T's to cross in order to work, as they say, with the big boys. No question about it. And, and again, looking at your story, looking at your site and, uh, you know, and seeing what you've done in such a remarkably short period of time, I think it's extraordinary. And I'm glad we were able to document it here on The Price of Business. Thanks so much. AimGlobalLogistics.com. Angelica, any final thoughts before I let you go? Uh, just uh, one of the things that we do, uh, you know, it's revenues are important, but, uh, you know, but and but what's more important is you know growing, uh, giving jobs to the you know growing the, the the job growth, and then also giving back to the community. Ten percent of all our net profits does go back to this ministries and missions on a local, national, and global scale. So it's important to you know be able to provide jobs and also give back to the community. More important for me than just increasing revenue. Yeah, that's fantastic. You know, it's uh, making money for a purpose, and I appreciate yes. that. Thanks so much. I appreciate your time today. No problem. Thank you so much for having me. Angelica Garcia, she is president of uh, a great company, AIM Global Logistics, and you can learn more about them at aimgloballogistics.com. And uh, love today's program. Pretty interesting, all that, all that we covered. I do want to remind you the show continues 24-7 at priceofbusiness.com. And the best content here shows up over there at US, usdatareview.com. While they're like it on Facebook, follow it on Twitter. Have a great day and spend it right here.